Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Okami. Last time we t we uh, had a look around the village. We spoke with Kimu, the village elder, and now we're going to be off to Yashpat with Kai to find his younger sister, Lika, who's going to play a vital role in thawing out the village from this apocalyptic blizzard. Listen, is not coming with us. I was using the royal we. I was talking about furball here. Yashpet is like another world. Get lost and you might never return. Eason's familiar with it. But don't you worry, Ami here will find Lika. If that's the case, I'll lead the way. What? I know you must be worried, Eason, but we haven't got much time. What do you mean? The demons are waiting for the Day of Darkness. It's a solar eclipse that occurs once every hundred years. Kamui will be in total darkness for a whole day when it happens. Without sunlight, and with the demon's blizzard going on, no living thing in Kamui will be able to survive the day. There are only a few days until the Day of Darkness. If Leek is not here to recite the volcanic incantation by then... Amaterasu, you're no ordinary wolf, are you? Well, yeah. Kimu wouldn't have asked you to do this otherwise. Maybe you're the reincarnation of the white wolf Shiranui. Maybe. You must be very strong if you can cope with Isen. <laughs> and your point is... Just... Oh yeah, just straight off to take a, a random pot shot at Eason. <laughs> I'll lead you into the forest. Now that I'm not distracted by dunking on Eason. I'm gonna head out to the edge of the forest. <laughs> oh yeah, Kai is the one with a really cool design. Oh, we are gonna meet someone else with a really cool design with some uh, some nifty horns. By the end of the episode. I'm very excited for that. It's been sealed. Yeah, we know all this. Alright, let's go. We actually passed by Yashpet on the way to Wepkir. It's just at the other end of that fork. And as for the seal... Oh, first we have, uh, Skies. This is an enemy I actually forget the name of. Um, Bull Charger! There we go. They behave almost identically to Crimson Head. Oh, I use so much ink for nothing. We weren't even close. <laughs> Now we can enjoy. Oh, yes, 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 yes. The glaives at their finest. Also, we didn't get a chance to use this last time, but from the dojo, I did pick up that move that turns my dodge and my double jump into a weapon. Like in Dark Souls rolling around in the in the uh, thorns armor. And that wall turns out to be illusory. Whoop. Kinda got buried under the snow for a second. The Eastern Forest, the ancient people of Kamui dubbed it Yashpet, means consuming forest in their ancient language. They say the forest will swallow you up if you lose your way. Kai said she'd be- oh, she. She'd be waiting for us. I wonder where she is. I keep making that mistake. Why, a Matarasu? Bonjour! Not that half-baked prophet again. What are you looking for now, Mosheri? I'm still looking for you-know-what. I don't... 
but this cold sure is making it difficult. Like, we really care, pretty boy. If you're gonna be dogging our tracks like this, you better tell us who you really are. Who I really am? That's right. I mean, we already know that you're up to no good. Excusez-moi? But I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just looking for a certain path. Whatever could you mean? You could say I am a seeker of the eternal heavens. Aha, now I know why you keep babbling on about a path to the heavens. What's the theory? What's the theory, Eason? You're planning a wolf murder! Then you'll take Amy's place in heaven! What? <laughs> but look, I take it, I've hit the nail on the head. It also explains why you keep turning up wherever we go. A path to the heavens? Bah! More like a highway to you know where. Wait, Eason can go like full Tex Avery wolf. Oh, a wooging every time he sees a pair of big titties, but you can't say hell? My path to the heavens slumbers here in the land of Kamui. I seek a heavenly ark. Oh, the Ark of Yamato. That's right, in Kamui, there's a ship of iron locked in ice. Yeah, we've been there. I can, I can sense it now, it's almost within my grasp. Just gotta thaw the lake first. <laughs> You too know this, do you not, Amaterasu? I must bid you adieu. No need for any prophecies this time. Bye. Okie dokie. Okily ding dong diddly dokily. Let's get a move on with Yashpat. We're gonna be in here tangled up for a bit. I've been waiting for you. Yeah, we know. Consuming forest, blah 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 etc. And so forth. Sealed with the Oena Crest? Uh-huh. It's been weakening. Something evil waits inside. But if we make it deep inside, we'll come to a special place. It's a secret place that humans can never reach. I had something of a connection with the place when I was small. That's why I know the way. Right, Eason? There we go. I had to take care of something real quick. We're all depending on you, Amaterasu. Well, it's time to begin our expedition into the forest. Run as fast as you can. Are you ready to go? Mm, yeah. Let me warn you first. Do not underestimate this forest, okay? The tree pollen here has the power to confuse beasts. We Oina can uh, we Oina can't stay in here long, and I doubt you can either. None of us want to get lost out in the blizzard and die out here. So let's get a move on. Oh wait, hold on. Oh spirits, protect us with your divine powers. Hold on. All right, I'm actually back this time, so we can finally enter the forest of Yashpet. Some call it the Consuming Forest. Did you know that? And while Kai is our guide, we don't really have to follow her all that much. In fact, we can actually pass her relatively easily. Um, and it's not that big of a deal. This is not the maze that they would have you believe it is. Occasionally, there's a fork in the path, but usually it's signposted anyway. It's good that Kai can't really hold you back, though. Uh, as for the trees, those are the same trees that we... Oops. The hitbox on those, on those brambles are a little bit funky. Uh, those are the same cursed trees from the beginning of the game. We... Could uh, stop whenever they show up to power slash 
the bright pink projectiles and reflect them. And then we could bloom the trees to get rid of them or to make them non-cursed. Uh, but as you saw, it's not really necessary. There'll, there will be more later. Uh, and I think it's going to be a little bit trickier, but we can still get away with it. What did I just bonk off of? We could still get away without having to go through all that. Especially for how many trees there are. Uh, there is a race component to this that I think you do later for a stray bead. Uh, and it can be kind of helpful if you clear those out ahead of time. Oh, I thought I was going to get around it. Oh, now we're starting to chain hits together. As long as you can build up a little bit of momentum and swerve around, weave in and out between the projectiles, the falling icicles, everything else, uh, you can do this non-stop without having to, to uh, actually take care of too many obstacles. And now we have something new. This is where Kai is actually really, really handy to have as a guide. Uh, because you can see ahead of time which path the snowballs are going to take. So you know whether or not you need to be on the inside or the outside track, or just swerving around like this. Or if you can stay right down the center. Uh, you can, of course, also just... Oh, here we go. You can just jump over them, too. The ice is where this gets tricky. Keeping any kind of momentum. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm gonna try to spend as little time as possible on the ground. Just doing little short double jump hops. And still plenty of time, especially with all of those 30 second orbs that we picked up. You can miss just about every one of them, uh, as long as you aren't going out and taking a lunch break in the middle of this. See what I mean? That All of the forks in the road are, are signposted for you. And we finally come to the end of Yashpet, to a secret place. It's been a while since I was last here. Wondered if I'd make it. Hmm. Oh, well, it hasn't changed a bit. Amaterasu, this place is Yashpet's little secret. Welcome to Punk Town, home of the Punkles. I'm sure Easton will tell you a lot more about it. Maybe he won't. Anyway, Kimu sensed Lika's presence here, right? If we don't find her before the Day of Darkness begins, and she doesn't perform the volcanic incantation, we know this. It'll freeze over for good. Really counting on Amaterasu. This place hasn't changed a bit. Amy, the Ponkel village Ponkton is in the tree stump. I'm just going with Ponkton. <laughs> I'm sure you'd like to go in there and chat with the locals. Too bad we're so big. If only there was a thing that could shrink us. <laughs> it's the lucky mallet. Yeah. What's it doing here? Don't tell me it wants to repay you for your kindness. Yeah. Who knew two tools could be so loyal? Yeah, let's go. Let's enter Ponk Town. We could ask around about Lika, but Eason is not going in. This slick helmet of mine could get ruined in such a gloomy place. So we're going to be without Eason. We're going to be all alone. in this apparently very gloomy place. That's not gloomy at all! Oh, I love this place! 
Let's get a good look around. The theme here. Oh, the environment, all the art. It's so colorful too. Shaded by this huge mushroom cap. Ah, ah, spider web bridges. This village is great. The theme, everything about it, it's so vibrant. It's delightful. You're a god, aren't you? We hardly see any here these days. Gengo immediately recognized us as a god. Listen up, god wolf. I collect things I find in the forest. It's sort of a hobby. Do you want to play shop with me? It's a pretty serious game. I feel like he's about to put economic sanctions on me or something, or declare a trade war on me. Hell yeah. So we're gonna travel around the outskirts of the village and work our way towards something cool. I have, to pr I have to practice painting. All of us here are given lessons by the village elder, Ishaku. He can be really strict sometimes. So they're all painters. I've got a long way to go before I become a great artist. If only I could paint like Isun, then I'd help. I'd be able to help the gods. Oh, we have some Konohana Blossoms. Uh, do we want to... Oh no, we actually... We could go back to the town square. <laughs> uh, we could go back to the town square with the uh, with the huge mushroom. Or we could work our way along the uh, platforms on the outskirts of the village with the Konohana Blossoms. And we will get around to uh, Ishaku's house all the same. We will actually get led straight back there. And this gives us more time to appreciate how gorgeous and whimsical this place is. <sighs> and we can go even a little bit further up, which is uh, sure to get us a pretty good vista. One of the higher points in the level. Oh my god, I love this village so much. Okami is just one of those games that exists purely to put a smile on my face. Whoops. <sighs> like, serious. It's a good sign. It's a good sign when I uh, see something so stunningly gorgeous that I get flustered. How can anyone play this and not just have a big ol' smile across their face playing this? Like, ah, it's so good. I don't even know what else to say about it. It's just so good. It's so self-evidently good. <laughs> Plenty of treasure, way too much money still. Uh, there are a couple of late game yen dumps, especially for some upgraded skills. Uh, one of them, I think is just outside of Web here, but nothing that I'm super interested in. So before we go in to see a Shaku, let's Talk to the guards, who are going to hold us up. Are you some kind of wolf? You can't be an ordinary wolf if you got into Pongton like this. We demand that you introduce yourself. <laughs> That's weird. We can usually understand animals. I have no idea what's going on inside this wolf's head. But this strange makeup and the divine instrument looks so... I have a feeling I've seen them somewhere before, too. So if you try to go in, they will stop you. At least for a little bit. Until they recognize you. You look just like the wolf in the scroll at old Ishaku's house. Does that mean you're a friend of our chief, Ishaku? <laughs> 
Thought so. I suppose we'd better let you in. You can also do the same thing that we did back in the capital to see Himiko, uh, which is to use the Veil of Mist and just slip by. Through the Veil of Mist, all things become possible. Uh, Shaku's eyes are particularly bad, so keep that in mind. He's quite old. Make sure you don't give him any trouble. Is Shaku and Isun's name together uh, create a pun? Which you'll understand in a second. Yeah. Uh, Japan has a unit of measurement for distance called a shaku, which is about 0.3 meters, and a sun, which is a fraction of a shaku. It's one tenth, I think. So it's it's like Isun stands in Ishaku's shadow. And Ishaku recognizes Amaterasu. I never imagined I'd see you again. My eyes have started to fail me in my old age. But, but I can sense it. I can sense the tears you're trying to hide. I was hoping for a bark. Yes, go ahead and ignore me. That's the Ami I know. This is such a good bit. <laughs> I don't know how you managed to make yourself so small, but that rudeness of yours leaves me in no doubt of who you are. Okay. No go. I'm no longer the young boy you remembered me as, Andy. I've grown to become the leader of Pankton. Yes, I am the legendary swordsman Ashaku. Legendary swordsman Ishaku, self-proclaimed. Lovely helmet. Absolutely dope. I've gone up in the world since we last met, wouldn't you say? You can give me that look, but I know you're impressed. But really, I'm sensing something about you that worries me. Your divine powers have, been, ha have weakened considerably. I assume you haven't retrieved all 13 of them yet, have you? Things have certainly changed since we last fought together. People no longer have faith in the gods, not like they used to. So I suppose it's only to be expected that you're weaker now. It's sad to see you without your old strength. But let me tell you straight. In your current state, you can't possibly fight off the powers of darkness. <laughs> so tell me, don't you have a companion traveling with you this time? <laughs> Is that a no? You mean you came all this way alone? I wasn't expecting to see you with anyone in particular, mind you. Oh well, never mind. It's no big deal. Amy, I'm sure you're all you already know this, but in your current state, you can't. Yeah, okay. We ponkles as well. Oh, that's why we've tra we've been training to be celestial envoys. Yep. Seem to have forgotten absolutely everything. Celestial envoys are messengers of the gods. The gods cannot live on unless people believe in them. We uncles are the only ones who can communicate with gods. And we train as artists to teach the world their divine power. Then only the very best of us are chosen to be given the honor. The honor of being named a celestial envoy. I was the sixth celestial envoy when I traveled with you. But I'm old now, and I'm not as strong as I used to be. So I decided to take everything that I've learned and teach it to my people. I've been very strict, but it's paid off. Now almost all of them have what it takes to be a celestial envoy. So, Amy, take a look around the village and talk to them. It's up to you to, s to decide who will be the seventh celestial envoy. Whoever you choose will accompany you on your journey. Their amazing paintings will show the world your divine power. 
If people believe in you, your powers are sure to return. Then, and only then, will you be able to defeat the darkness. So it would seem... No, 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 do not tell us again. It would seem we have a pretty important decision ahead of us. One we'll be making next time as we, uh, finish exploring Pompton. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.